Losing captain and coach first at the Strand Pioneers, that was of course a, a proud moment. I think there's never been a team that, happy, that was that happy to uh, lose, uh, actually. Paul Delport and of course the captain, Morgan Newman. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is of course the Strand Pioneers uh, Sevens Tournament here in Strand. And once again, the Cape Rugby TV team has come out and um, through an overnight success, once again, absolutely had a fantastic time and again into the finals. Of course, the uh, losing captain of the Cape Rugby TV Seven sides with me, Springbok Sevens Rugby player, um, Paul Delport. Or should I say, you're actually the coach. I keep getting it wrong. Paulie, how was it today? Uh, it's a fantastic experience, Japs. Great for the, for the people of Strand and Gordon's Bay to come out. I think the guys all really, really enjoyed the tournament. And again, congrats to Ricky and the province side. Fantastic to see province putting a, putting a seven setup together, seven structure. I think that's the future of the game. And it's great to see them getting better and better. Did you think we could do it again? Uh, after the first two games, no. <laughs> but the guys, they're such a, we, we had such a talented group of players. The guys, I think you, you find your feet a bit quicker in yeah. sevens. And as the guys found their feet, they, they got to know each other a bit better. And they really came through well in the end. They put, through, put in some great performances. And of course, All Saints, who didn't rock up, made it a little bit difficult for you guys because you didn't have that, that sort of warm-up match. And this is the first time you've, you've met these players, or not met these players, but had an opportunity to play with them. That second game was an important game. Yeah, it, uh, it was. We all uh, got together at about 10 o'clock this morning. It's the first time the guys actually met each other. We realised we didn't have enough. We had to borrow some of the Marty's boys. Um, so yeah, I think that the, the, the first game's always tough, and the second game's kind of one where you 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 kind of get your, your you get your straps, you get into your straps, and you and you find things a little bit easier. But again, the, the guys came out after missing that second one, and they, and they played they played very very well. Fantastic stuff, Paulia. Once again, congratulations. You're, we can see why you're a Springbok Sevens player. Fantastic stuff. Well done with the team. Uh, thanks so much, Jeff. Morgs, I was just asking Paulie, uh, the coach, uh, uh, did you think we could do it again? Yeah, look, I mean, Paulie hit the nail on the head, I think. You know, it's obviously difficult. You're losing our first game quite, uh, quite, quite comfortably. But yeah, I mean, as it is, you know, the guys come together from all different clubs and they come together and once they gel after two or three games, then, then they start, you know, the, the moves start to work and, and the tries start to come. So yeah, I mean, hats off to the boys. They've come out and literally never knew each other's names this morning and now they're, they're best mates for life. So it's good to see and then hopefully this Cape team can just keep growing. I mean, isn't it just incredible how one can actually perform if you're just enjoying rugby? Because these guys have never had one single practice together. But it just goes, once again, if you, you can play really good rugby if you're prepared to just have a jaw. Yeah, I mean, look, um, this morning, you know, Pauli said that the motto for the day will be just, you come out, you have fun, and you make sure you've got a smile on your face for the 15 minutes that you're out there. And the guys did that, and it's amazing what you can achieve, you know. The guys really, you know, took a, put their bodies on the line all day, and yet to the final, we lost uh, to a good Western Province side, yet the guys were still smiling, and that's, I think that's what rugby's all about at the end of the day.